Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I've got a fascinating case here out of Alaska, and I've mentioned before my best friends from high school lives in Alaska. And so I follow things that happen in Alaska very closely because I'm fascinated by it. So Alaska Supreme Court rules that law enforcement must have a warrant to use an aircraft and zoom lenses to spy on people who uh, live on the face of the planet, at least in Alaska. This is from the Hill.com, but widely reported. Tara Suda wrote this. And keep in mind that this ruling hinges on the Alaskan Constitution. So I know a lot of people have already begun to type and say, Steve, there's already a U.S. Supreme Court case on how agents can do this under the U.S. Constitution. And, of course, many states have got constitutions that contain slightly different uh, or more restrictive limits than the federal. The Alaska Supreme Court ruled that the law enforcement must have a warrant before using aircraft and binoculars or cameras with zoom lenses to surveil areas around homes. The decision by Alaska's high court explains that some argue that because small airplane travel is so common in Alaska and because any passenger might peer into your yard and snap a picture of you, law enforcement officials may do the same. Court says we disagree. We disagree. The Friday ruling has its roots in a case dating back to 2012 when state troopers got a tip from an informant that a man was growing stuff on his property, which uh, was illegal plants. His property was heavily wooded and had a driveway that led to a clearing that had a house and a greenhouse, according to the ruling. Ground-level visibility of the buildings was restricted by trees and a gate prevented cars from coming in. So if you came out and walked around his property, you would not see anything. So two troopers following up on the tip flew over his property and used a camera with a high-power zoom lens to get photos of the greenhouse with buckets that had unidentifiable plants in them, according to the court. A search warrant was then issued. And and it makes you wonder why a search warrant gets issued when they go, we've got photographs that show unidentifiable plants. That's that's got to be illegal. All plants should be identifiable. <laughs> a search warrant was obtained resulting from the tip and the flight. Amid the search, they found marijuana and some other things which appear to indicate that there may have been some nefarious activity happening there. A lower court denied his attempt to have vid- uh, evidence suppressed and he was convicted of third-degree misconduct uh, involving a controlled substance and some other things. He appealed and said the judge had incorrectly denied his motion to suppress. An appeals court later reversed that ruling, which was followed then by the Supreme Court of Alaska affirming the ruling of the appeals court. This court says the Alaska Constitution protects the right to be free of unreasonable searches, The fact that a random person might catch a glimpse of your yard while flying from one place to another does not make it reasonable for law enforcement officials to take to the skies and train high-powered optics on the private space right outside your home without a warrant. An attorney for the man said the ruling is a tremendous decision to protect the rights of privacy of Alaskans and hopefully set an example for the rest of the country. The Alaska Department of Law also told The Hill it is reviewing the ruling. (laughs) <laughs> Good luck with that. And the Associated Press also contributed to this reporting of this story. And so you might say, but Steve, when they're reviewing the ruling, could they take this higher? Well, they could ask the U.S. Supreme Court to rule on this. You can always ask. Uh, and I suspect the Supreme Court would say, no. Why should we weigh in on the interpretation of a state constitution that's already been interpreted by its own Supreme Court? So I suspect that that's where that would end. But there have been cases. There have been cases about what the government can do, particularly with flying over property and looking down at it. And a lot of times they make the argument. They say, look, you know, you might have privacy fences around your property. You might. But there's people flying over your property all the time, and they're doing so legally. And so if somebody flies over your property legally, they can look out the window And they could have binoculars. They could have a big old monster zoom lens. They could have all kinds of stuff. And so if somebody flies over your property legally with those things, but remember that the constitutions, I'm talking about the state and the federal and those of other states, that talk about your protection from unreasonable searches, talks about what steps the government can and cannot take to surveil you. And... You have to ask yourself, what kinds of things would we want them doing or not doing? And don't get me wrong, you want law enforcement to enforce the laws. 
but they get, an, they, they, they get a tip. Now, we don't know if it's an anonymous tip or not, but they said they got a tip. And they got a tip that some guy's growing something out there he shouldn't be growing. So they go out and they go around his property and they can't see in. Okay, let's fly over it. So they fly over it and loitering over his property. They can take pictures with a gigantic zoom lens and the pictures show unidentifiable plants. Okay, now we get a search warrant based on that. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Uh, it appears that the flight didn't add anything to what you, what you already knew. Because the fact that he's growing plants, I got news for you. There are greenhouses that grow plants that aren't illegal. And so, again, the federal interpretations at the U.S. Supreme Court of our big constitution, when it covers all of us, they've talked all about all the different things. And, and what's crazy, and when you're in law school, you discover this. When you're taking your con law class or criminal procedure class, sometimes you're talking about all these different things that the government can do to, to surveil somebody. You discover that, for instance, they might be flying over neighborhoods using cameras that detect heat. <laughs> I kid you not, because somebody who's got a grow operation in their house, their house might have a different heat signature than its neighbors. And... Really? Do, do, is, is that what we want, where they're just flying around looking for things like that? And, you know, I, I'm not even going to weigh in on that one, because I don't even think that's as big of a deal anymore as it used to be. Um, the marijuana cases were huge 20, 30 years ago. Most of them are falling by the wayside now because so many states have legalized it that somebody who's growing it might not be even breaking the law anymore. Now, here, this case dates back to 2012, and you got yourself a ruling from the Alaska Supreme Court in 2014. Now, keep in mind that, of course, the case dates back to 2012. There would have been a trial, then there was an appeal, and then there was an appeal. And so that's quite a length of time, and that, of course, is one of the things that, that disappoints me about stories like this because, you know, it takes so long to get the correct answer. So I agree with this. I'm not too crazy about the idea that you can see something with your eyes. Therefore, I can use a telephoto lens. I can use all these different sensors and stuff. A lot of these questions don't have bright line answers. And so I suspect that the Alaska legal authorities thought they had the right to do this because in a federal case, the question has been raised and our Supreme Court has said that under the U.S. Constitution, if they can fly over it and look down, they can fly over it, look down, and take pictures. So I'm sure they thought, hey, same thing here, same thing here. But state constitution, like I said, state constitutions often provide protections that are not provided by the U.S. Constitution, especially when they're interpreted by the state Supreme Court. So Thanks to everybody sent that. Alaska Supreme Court rules law enforcement must have a warrant to use aircraft and zoom lenses, etc. From the hill.com and Tara Suter wrote that. Questions or comments? Put them below. Otherwise, talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Just so everyone's clear, I'm going to put my glasses on.